Minnesota pollinators have it tough right now. The DNR says habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change have contributed to the drastic decline in population. But now that spring is in full bloom and our gardens are picking up steam, Aaron Hassanzada shows us how some are turning their backyards into bee havens. Here at Ames Farm in Watertown, it's this sound that keeps beekeeper Brian Fredrickson buzzing day after day. Do you hear this sound like in your sleep? Sometimes uh, <laughs> when the sun comes up at 536, I know there's something to do. Brian the beekeeper not only has a honey business, but he also rents out and maintains dozens of backyard hives around the metro, spreading his passion for building bee lands. Oh, we can pretty much pet them. Brian says he's seen an explosion in people moving further out for more land, then calling him to install backyard bees. Part of that slower pandemic pace of life that seems to be sticking. We'll bring the hive. I'll come and visit it, make some honey off your property, teach you about bees. So last year I had a family in Wyzetta in a very wooded area in one of the bays. Uh, we made 120 pounds of honey on their property. <laughs> yeah, it's a win-win. You get your honey and, and your property looks nicer, right? <laughs> right. Well, and it's really that the bees are some part of that important cycle of life of the plants. But Brian says there's a bee crisis brewing as their homes disappear. He's doing his part by letting clover and native flowers run wild on his 40 acre property, a luxurious home for millions of bees. So you like dandelions around here? I love dandelions. <laughs> We're making honey off of these. But he says you don't have to be a beekeeper on a giant farm to make a difference. It's the landowners that are going to solve this problem, the bee crisis. We have to leave some land for bees. Whether it's roadside ditches, backyard, any, everything adds up. Everyone can do their part. In Watertown, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Seasonal hive rentals cost just over $1,200, but someone maintains them for you. Brian tells us they also offer beekeeping classes. Many renters end up eventually becoming beekeepers themselves.